after the world's biggest pop star Taylor Swift endorsed Kamala Harris, former President Donald Trump lashed out with a blunt all caps post on his Truth Social platform saying, I hate Taylor Swift. The post seems certain to alienate millions of the singer's devoted fans less than eight weeks ahead of the presidential election. However, Donald Trump didn't stop at just that. His latest remark about Taylor Swift has left a very bitter taste in the mouth of the singer's best friend, Brittany Mahomes, who is believed to be one of his many supporters. Brittany Mahomes is quote-unquote deeply bothered by Donald Trump's very public attack on her close friend, Taylor Swift. According to sources, the Kansas City Chief's wag is questioning her support for the former president now. Brittany Mahomes, who has been married to the Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes since 2022, sparked a liberal meltdown last month when she liked a post about Trump on social media. But now it seems Trump's outburst may just have lost him a popular fan and voter. Trump didn't really take swift siding with Harris too kindly and shared the feeling via a direct attack on the singer. Now that message has shaken the wife of Kansas City Chiefs player Patrick Mahomes to the core. Interestingly, Patrick and Kansas City's chief tight end, Travis Kelsey, who is dating Taylor Swift, have the closest and sweetest friendship on and off the NFL playing field. Reports suggest that Brittany Mahomes is questioning her support for Donald Trump after he lashed out at Taylor, saying that he hates her. It has deeply bothered Brittany because Taylor is just like a sister to her and she has done absolutely nothing wrong. Now, before making the scathing remark on Taylor Swift, Donald Trump expressed his thoughts about the latter supporting Kamala Harris. The former president shared that he prefers Brittany Mahomes to the Champagne Problem singer and he also said how the 34-year-old would soon regret supporting the vice president in the marketplace. In fact, he said, and I quote, I was not really a Taylor Swift fan. It was just a question of time. She couldn't, you couldn't possibly endorse Biden. But she's a very liberal person. She seems to have always endorsed a Democrat and she'll probably pay the price for it in the marketplace. Donald Trump then went on to appreciate Brittany Mahomes as a MAGA fan, saying, and I quote, that's the one I like much better than Taylor Swift. But this is not really the first time that Donald Trump has slammed the multi-Grammy award-winning American singer-songwriter. From the moment Taylor Swift first spoke publicly about politics in the year 2018, the pop star has stood in opposition to Donald Trump and the former president of the United States hasn't really kept quiet when it comes to her political views either. Over the course of her progression as a political advocate, Swift has done everything to call out Trump's right-wing policies and inflammatory language urging her hundreds of millions of fans to vote against Donald Trump in the elections. In fact, the singer-songwriter has more than once expressed regret over not doing enough to prevent the politician from making it to the White House. Well, such is Taylor Swift's reach and popularity that following the presidential debate, she announced that she plans to vote for Harris and her running mate Tim Wolves in November, adding that she wanted to clarify her position after Donald Trump had shared fake AI-generated images, suggesting that Taylor Swift might support the Republican ticket. Soon after, in an Instagram post, Taylor Swift said that she was voting for Kamala Harris because she, quote-unquote, fights for the rights and cause that I believe need a warrior to champion them. Taylor Swift's Instagram post included a link to register to vote in the election on vote.gov. And in the subsequent 24 hours, about 4,6,000 people already clicked on it, showing the star's massive reach. Well, for now, Brittany Mahomes and Taylor Swift's friendship is definitely under the scrutiny over their differing political views. But will the bad blood between Trump and Swift affect their friendship? Or will they be able to tide through this and remain together forever and always?